Move of the day. Stand up on me. Okay, we're gonna do a butterfly into a single leg X. And then we'll turn that into a sweep and a submission. Just for fun, okay? So, for this entry, we wanna be nice and close here. And I wanna get double unders. If I could lock my hands, awesome. If we were in the gi, I would just grab his lapels and pull him on top of me. Since we don't have our gi, I'm gonna come up. If I can't lock my hands, maybe he pinches his arms down, which people are apt to do, like pinch your elbows to your ribs, like sit back, yeah, which is fine. Maybe I can't lock my hands, but now I have good hooks here. Either way, I wanna elevate him and I wanna throw him up past my head. So he posts his hands, just like that, okay? I wanna be, I wanna be carrying his weight. I want his hands to be above my, above my head. I'm gonna kick one leg straight and bring it around. This hand comes across and pushes him away. Now he's gonna sit back up, because that's obviously stand up with it. So, okay, so now we're in single leg X. This is single leg X. One leg inside to out onto his hip. I don't bring it across. That's reaping in, in, uh, in the gi. This knee here on the inside hooked up, touching my heel to my knee, okay? Now I'm just gonna do a real basic sweep, okay? If he keeps his leg too close to me, big mistake. I'm gonna grab that ankle and I'm just gonna bump him over. He falls over, okay? This arm that has the overhook comes in. I wanna scoot down until I, like the end of a rope, okay? Like running your hand down a rope, you hit that knot at the end, his ankle's the knot, okay? I wanna go down until I can't go down anymore. I'm gonna grab my hand. Girls, you should come around and look. Girls, hello. Come around and look. Can't see what I'm doing back there. Okay, so I've got my hand in here, basically over my heart. I grab my own hand, okay? In the gi, you could grab your own gi. I like to do that, because then you have this hand to hand fight, because they're gonna be trying to grab your hands and stand up and you can use this hand, but we don't have the gi, so I'm gonna grab my own hand, just the blade of the hand. I'm gonna tuck my elbow to my ribs. See how that already tightens your ankle up? Now I'm gonna look behind me and, and do a deadlift, okay? If I don't tuck my elbow to my ribs, hurts, I'm not gonna break your ankle. Tuck my elbow to my ribs, now we're talking about breaking ankles, okay? Let's go again. So, we shoot in, if we lock our hands, awesome. We launch them up and over, okay? I've got them up, both, it, both legs. This hand comes across, because I want to push them away as I kick this leg through. If he comes up, he doesn't keep that leg away from me. I bump my hips up to knock him over. I already had this hook, so he fell right down into it. Tuck my ankle, ankle lock, or tuck my elbow, sorry, ankle lock, okay? You want to see it? Is your ankle messed up? Yeah. Let me get you. Okay, so we come in, we lock our hands, or we get double unders if he pinches his elbows. I bring him up, I bring my hand across, come a single leg X, he comes up, I find that far leg, or take it away from me. Even if I can't reach it, I can still bump, turn my hips. Okay, just with one hand, even if I can't reach that ankle. I've already landed right in the ankle lock position, I grab my hand, I tuck my elbow to my ribs, and then I deadlift, meaning I push my hips in, I arch my back, and I look to the back of the room. Tuck that elbow, look to the back of the room, okay? <clears throat> Any questions? You guys wanna see the entry one more time? The entry is the key here. That's really what I want us to focus on, okay? We're hand fighting, we're hand fighting. I get in, make an S grip. I could do a gable grip, but S grip is the longest loop of all the different locks you can make with your hands, and I don't need to have a super tight grip here. I just need it to be tight enough. Like I said, you could even do it like this. I just need it to be tight enough so that when I rock back, it comes with me. Push him up and over, pushing in his armpit. So I bring my hand across, boom. Use that to push myself to the side. He stands up. Wait till they stand up to get their balance. If he's got his hips to the mat, or hands to the mat, put your hands to the mat. I can't sweep him this way. And I can't sweep him that way. He's gonna stand up to try to peel my foot and that's when I bump and go. Okay, I've already got this overhook. I find the edge of his, the end of his foot, grab my own hand. Tuck my elbow. Okay, good? Yep. All right, let's partner up and run it. One, two, three. Girls, let's just really work on that entry.